Hey gang, this is Tom from the naturaldogtrainer.com with another video. Today, we're going to talk about how to housebreak a puppy. You know, housebreaking a puppy can be frustrating for an owner because they just don't have the attention span that uh, adult dogs do. They get distracted easily. The whole, you know, it, it, don't let it get to you. Don't give up. If you give up now, you'll never get your dog to go because you don't have the discipline. Uh, there's four steps you can use. I'm going to outline them pretty quick in here uh, to keep it within time limit for the video. Think of your puppy as a completely empty whiteboard. Well, not completely empty. The, the, there's some things on the board such as sleeping, playing, exploration, and, and elimination. Dog already knows them. That's what they do. Uh, there might be a lot of those things on there, but there's room for you to teach him other things too. Now, it's up to you to work with your dog, give him the attention and direction that he needs in his life. Housebreaking a puppy basically comes down to one thing, a simple training regime. Uh, here's how we're going to do it. Confinement. Puppies don't understand where it, where it is and isn't appropriate to eliminate, and they can't control it. They can't really control that till they're about 12 weeks old. Um, so if you're going to housebreak a puppy or any dog, you might uh, really want to confine them in a space of their own that most dogs don't want to soil the place they live in they'll they so they you got to give them something that's big enough for them to move around in but not too big if you got too much room they'll poop in one end sleep in the other uh, my suggestion would be to get a crate um, there's two reasons behind that first you need to confine your pet in a space that gives them enough room Second, they need to eat, sleep, and, and learn that, that crate is their home away from home, or home within your home. Uh, you can check out the blog, thenaturaldogtrainer.com, for more information on crates and crate training. Second is training. Housebreaking a puppy, you should treat him just like any other dog. Always use a leash that gives you ability to keep him close to you and you can supervise him. If you start leash training in the beginning, you're not going to have a problem later. The dog will already be accustomed to being, having a leash trailing behind him. <clears throat> Using a leash when you're housebreaking a puppy gives you the ability to guide him and keep him in the proper areas to go. And that way you can also uh, tug him away from the distractions that are, are going to come along. I suggest that you teach a word. Associate a word with going to the bathroom. When you get this word down, the dog is going to know when you say it, you, that's what you expect. You can pick any phrase, make sure it's, you use the same phrase all the time, and that anybody else who walks the dog uses the same phrase. The last, or no, third part is timing. You can't keep your dog in a crate all the time. There are people that try that. Doesn't work out real good. When housebreaking a puppy, the best time to have him scurrying around is after he's went to the bathroom. Use the eliminate first, then play method. Puppies have to go more frequently. They just can't hold it like adult dogs do. So I'm going to give you a schedule. You know, it's kind of a math thing. There's no accidents with a puppy. If they eliminate in the wrong place, chances are it's because you didn't get them out in time. Rule of thumb, use the, this formula. Housebreaking a puppy. A puppy should be given the opportunity to eliminate on basis of its age. Age in months times one hour equals the maximum time between eliminations. Two months, two hours. Three months, three hours. And that goes on up to about eight months. If you follow the schedule, the action, accidents will be held to a minimum. When housebreaking a puppy, it's important that you, or any dog, that you give the, you know, you know, give them verbal encouragement. They love praise. When they do the right thing, give them praise. When he poos in the correct spot, praise and petting. Dogs naturally want to please humans, and they'll go out of their way to do it. All you got to do is give them the opportunity. It's important that you reward them for their work. I mean, you don't want to work all day for nothing. So give them a little good word and a pat. Um, there are, our dogs are loyal. They're loving. All it takes is time to teach them the proper you know, way to go to the bathroom and following a, a set of simple steps. If you follow the steps in this, you, know, you won't have a problem. I've never had a problem. Uh, this is Tom from NaturalDogTrainer.com. Feel free to stop by for more videos and articles uh, on crate training or anything that you can think of for a dog. Have a great day.